everyone, this is Samantha from Scrapmasters Paradise. I wanted to talk to you guys today about the Mix and Match series. Actually, I have some of them. Okay, so I've got two sets so far of the Mix and Match series. We've got the Friends one, which I'm going to show you first, and then the Basics, which I'll show you probably in a following video. It depends on how long this video gets. So those ones are new, and I have my copy of them in here and I store my stamps and DVD cases that um, this one's a Stampin' Up! one and I took the little inserts out because this stamp site you're not supposed to know about. It's not out yet. So we're going to concentrate on this mix and match friends set today. So let me grab my little supplies. I've got some card stock scraps of just projects I was working on, and I'm going to just stamp some ones for you so you can see. Okay, so in my little setup you see here, I've got my stamp and scrub, which I'll do a video on. It's how I clean my stamps. Um, an ink pad, some scrap paper, and some clear blocks. And you already saw my mix and match friends stamp set. So what I'm going to do is zoom in so you can see my paper and you can see what I'm stamping because that's the most important thing right now. So let me get zoomed in so you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. And so with the Mix and Match series, um, this one is Friends. So the, so the point of it is to make cards for your friends and there's different parts to the sentiment. There's the first part, which either can be you are, you are an, you are a, and then there's all these wonderful words to go with um, those sentiments, like lovely, delightful, charming, sweet, um, fantabulous, which is one I used on my card today on the Imagination Land blog, you can see. It says, you are fantabulous. So those are two, actually two separate stamps. And so I'm going to show you, just make a couple of different sentiments for you to give you guys some ideas. So I've got, you are, and with that, you know, you could do all sorts of things. You could say, you are totally... And let me get the next piece. And I'm doing this sideways, so it's going to be a little crooked, so I apologize. You are totally awesome. Okay, so there's one you could have. Or you could just say, you are awesome. Or you can say, let's see, let me find my one thing. I have an idea in my head. another one, okay? You are an awesome and then this one you're really going to like. Okay, you are an awesome friend. And of course it's crooked because I'm stamping in the side so I really can't see how I'm stamping it <laughs> until it's too late because I've got the video camera in the way. Or you can do all sorts of things. Here's one of my favorite ones. You are super. So all these different ones, I'll read off some of them to you because they're really cute. Um, you are enchanting, that's a really cute one. You are lovely, fantastic, marvelous, delightful, charming, spectacular, classy, stupendous, fantabulous. And let me show you one more I want to stamp out for you. Get up some white paper. Okay, and let's start with you are again. You are and 
then you are rocking. You can say you are rocking. Awesome. Oops, I messed up a little bit. But you get the idea. It says you are rocking awesome. <laughs> That's one of my favorite ones. Um, I designed this set so you can see I had a lot of fun with it. I love that one. So I have rocking with a G on the end and I also have rock in without the G. Let me stamp that one for you. You're rocking. <laughs> I like that one a lot. See that? <laughs> oh, this one's a really, really fun set. I just love having all the different sentiments that I could use. And I know you'll like it too. Thanks for watching. Bye. That's a nice color.